as you all know review article has been published in leukemia based on the recent uh, uh, who classification of hematolymphoneoplasms fifth edition 2022 today we are going to cover myeloproliferative neoplasms as you all know uh, myeloproliferative neoplasms include chronic myeloid leukemia polycythemia vera essential thrombocytemia primary myelofibrosis chronic neutrophilic leukemia chronic eosinophilic leukemia and mpn nos now they have uh, included juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia under myeloproliferative neoplasms because it has been recognized as a uh, myeloproliferative neoplasm of early child with frequent association with germline pathogenic gene variants so increased red cell mass is uh, nothing to do with the diagnosis of polycythemia vera according to who uh, 2022 hematolymphoid neoplasms there are also certain changes in the diagnostic criteria of chronic eosinophilic leukemia the time interval required to define sustained hyper eosinophilia is reduced from 6 months to 4 weeks addition of requirement for both clonality and abnormal bone marrow morphology so we need to uh, do clonality testing and we need to have uh, abnormal bone marrow morphology like mega karyocytic or erythroid dysplasia and they have eliminated uh, increased blast as an alternative to clonality and there is no uh, cel nos category now in the uh, mpn category so nos has been removed previously there used to be three phases in cml now accelerated phase has been removed thank you